Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at this Acer Chromebook Spin 713. We're gonna talk a little about the specs, some of the things you can do with it, one of those you may not have been aware of, and why this is still such a great option even though it's been out for a few years and its successor, the Acer Chromebook 714, is already out. So let's get right into this review. So this version of the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 has the 11th gen i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM and a bunch of ports. We'll go over those, but if we bring up COG, so you can see we have the 11th gen Intel Core i5-1135G7 at 2.4 gigahertz and all the cores are processed in there and our eight gigs of RAM. Now the screen is a very bright three by two aspect ratio. It's got a resolution of 2256 by 1504. I'm kind of laughing because you're never gonna use that resolution. You're gonna go into settings and scale it down. But other than that, the screen is beautiful. It's uh, bright, I've used it in direct sunlight. The only issue I have is it is very glossy. So there is some reflection from that, but it is a actual very nice screen. There's also a bunch of ports on this laptop on the left as you're facing it. We have two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a HDMI and a headphone jack. And then around on the right side, we have our power button, USB type A, card reader, and then our volume rocker. So it has enough ports to cover most of your needs while you're on the go or sitting at your desk. Now up above the screen is a webcam, which is really not too bad. I've seen much worse webcams on much more expensive computers than on this one. It is certainly serviceable for video conferencing and things like that. The keyboard and trackpad are also great on this computer. The keyboard has just a tiny, tiny bit of flex. You don't even notice it when you're using it. The keys are very, very responsive. The spacing is good. And it's actually really pleasant to work on even for several hours of typing. The trackpad is also nice. It's I find the uh, size to be perfect. The spacing on either side, there's plenty of space to rest my palms, but then when I need to reach the trackpad, there's no problem with that. It's very responsive as well. I have had a little bit of issues with some multi-touch gestures on it, but other than that, it's worked very well. As far as the responsiveness with that 11th gen i5 processor, it chews through anything that I throw at. Uh, just the regular apps that are included with Chrome OS all start up and launch extremely quickly. There's no problem doing any kind of multitasking or anything. Uh, everything is very fast. It works great, of course, with the Chrome OS apps, but it also works great with the uh, Android apps and Linux app. I do have Linux installed on here and everything works great. Even applications that I had trouble running on other Chromebooks work really well in Linux on here, Minecraft being one of those things. So this Acer Chromebook Spin 713 is great for students, people that do business work, people that write a lot of documents, uh, people that wanna work on their blog, things like that. It works great for business related tasks or general computing tasks but life is not all business related. There is a fun aspect of life and I wanna talk about a really fun and kind of surprising aspect of this Chromebook. Now, as you probably guessed, I'm gonna talk about gaming on this Chromebook and gaming with Chrome OS games, Android games and Linux games works great. I've done a bunch of videos on that and uh, they work awesome on this computer. What I really wanted to focus on is Steam gaming and I wanted to talk about the official Steam support on this and a select other Chromebooks. Now I've done a whole video on this, so if you want more details, I'll put a link up at the top and down in the description. But really all you do is you put your Chromebook into the developer channel for updates, set one of the Chrome OS flags and put a code into the terminal. And it installs official Steam support that takes advantage of the GPU acceleration on that processor that's uh, in the computer. Right now it's available on select 11th generation Chromebooks, this being one of those, and it works great. I've tried all kinds of games with Linux support and they work great. I've even tried a few games that are Windows only, like No Man's Sky, and I actually got that to perform very, very well. So this takes gaming on Chromebook to a whole other level where you can play uh, some pretty intensive games on your Chromebook and they work great. Now they will be coming out with that for other Chromebooks. This is still in a very early uh, release stage. That's why you have to put your Chromebook into the developer channel, but it will be rolled out to more Chromebooks. And so far, even though it's pre-release, it's working really, really well on this computer. 
So that about wraps it up. Like I said, for just about every use case, this is a fantastic Chromebook. Um, I will do a comparison on the Acer Chromebook Spin 714 and the 713, but right now I would say uh, this is going to meet the needs of the vast majority of people that are looking at getting Chromebooks. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you like this kind of video, hit the thumbs up. If you really liked it and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by.